So this is a good time of year to start looking for fungi um, in Epping Forest. One of the most recognisable ones, which you'll probably find, are these red and white fungi, um, known as fly agaric. Really recognisable from their red colour and white dots on top. They are associated with these trees that you'll see around us, which are easily identifiable from their white bark and their leaves, which are a triangular shape. There's a few here, but they're a bit yellow. And that's silver birch. It's one of the big old beech trees of the forest. Fantastic in the early autumn sunshine. If we go a bit closer, there's something interesting growing in amongst the roots. This one may be called chicken of the woods. And although it is edible, of course we wouldn't pick it because picking fungi in Epping Forest is completely illegal. So this is one of the most recognisable trees you'll find in Epping Forest. This is an oak tree. Um, you can identify this by its really rough bark with these really deep fissures. And if you're around one while it still has its leaves on, they're really recognisable. Growing on this tree, we have another fungus, um, which is known as beefsteak fungus, um, because it looks like a steak, supposedly. And it does, I don't know if you can see, but it does ooze um, a red liquid that looks a bit like blood. So this is a type of bracket fungus growing on this standing deadwood. This is birch that it's growing on, silver birch. Um, and we think this bracket fungus is called birch polypore. It's known to have medicinal properties, so it's antibacterial, antimicrobial, um, and even used to treat some parasites. Certain parts are used for different things, so some parts are used for sort of dressing wounds, um, and other parts were actually used as a razor strop, so barbers would have used them to sharpen their razors.